Welcome to Dang Dang Ka channel. Categories Celebrity Biography. Xi Jinping Biography by Biography.com. Xi Jinping is the top leader in the Communist Party of China and the President of the People's Republic of China. Synopsis Xi Jinping was born June 15, 1953. His father was well placed in the Chinese Communist Party, CCP, but fell out of favor during the Cultural Revolution, and Xi had to start from the bottom. He worked up the ranks touching all the right bases within the bureaucracy to become a major player in the Chinese Politburo. By 2013, Xi was elected General Secretary of the Communist Party, Chair of the Military Commission and President of the People's Republic of China. He has since accomplished his goal of cracking down on government corruption, although he has also been criticized for human rights violations and disruptive economic regulations. Early years Xi Jinping was born June 15, 1953, the son of a well-placed Chinese Communist Party leader, Xi Zongxin, a former comrade of Communist China's founder Mao Zedong. Considered a princeling someone destined to rise within the government due to family connections. Xi Jinping's destiny was altered when his father was purged from power in 1962. In 1966, Mao launched the Cultural Revolution, a socio-political movement intended to preserve true communist ideology and purge remnants of capitalist society. All formal education was halted, and Xi Jinping, at that time in high school, was sent down to work in a remote farming village for seven years, doing manual chores and subsisting on rice gruel. It was there that Xi grew up both physically and mentally. Considered a weakling when he first arrived, he grew strong and compassionate and developed good relations working alongside the villagers. Though the Cultural Revolution was a failure, Xi emerged with a sense of idealism and pragmatism. Communist Party member After numerous unsuccessful attempts, in 1974 Xi Jinping was accepted into the Communist Party. The following year he began to study chemical engineering at Beijing's Tsinghua University, earning a degree in 1979. From that point forward, he steadily rose through the ranks of the Communist Party. Between 1979 and 1982, Xi served in the Central Military Command as Vice Premier, gaining valuable military experience. It was around this time that he married his first wife, Klingling, the daughter of the Chinese ambassador to Great Britain. The marriage ended in divorce within a few years. From 1983 to 2007, Xi Jinping served in leadership positions in four provinces, beginning with Hebei. During his tenure in Hebei, Xi Jinping traveled to the United States and spent time in Iowa with an American family, learning the finer points of agriculture and tourism. After his return, he served as vice mayor of Xiamen in Fujian, where in 1987 he married folk singer Peng Luan, who also holds the rank of army general in the People's Liberation Army. The couple has a daughter, Xi Mings, who studied at Harvard University under a pseudonym. Rise to national prominence Xi would make a steady ascent in the ensuing decades, with postings as governor of the Fujian and Xizhong provinces and as party secretary. In 2007, his career got a further boost when a pension fund scandal rocked the leadership of Shanghai and he was named as its party secretary. He spent his tenure promoting stability and restoring the city's financial image and that same year was chosen for the Politburo Standing Committee. In early 2008, Xi's visibility became even greater when he was elected Vice President of the People's Republic of China and placed in charge of preparations for the 2008 Summer Olympics in Beijing, elected leader of the People's Republic of China. In early 2012, Xi Jinping traveled to the United States to meet with President Barack Obama and members of his cabinet. He also made a nostalgic trip back to Iowa and then visited Los Angeles. During his visit, he spoke of increasing trust and reducing suspicions between the two countries while respecting each other's interests in the Pacific Asian region. Later that year, on November 15, Xi Jinping was elected General Secretary of the Communist Party and Chairman of the Central Military Commission. In his first speech as General Secretary, Xi broke from tradition and sounded more like a Western politician, speaking about the aspirations of the average person and calling for better education, stable jobs, higher income, a more reliable safety net of retirement and health care. 
better living conditions and a better environment. He also vowed to take on corruption within the government at the highest levels. He referred to his vision for the nation as the Chinese dream. On March 14, 2013, Xi completed his ascent when he was elected president of the People's Republic of China, a ceremonial position as head of state. In his first speech as president he vowed to fight for a great renaissance of the Chinese nation and a more prominent international standing. Achievements and Controversies Fulfilling one of his early promises, Xi almost immediately embarked on a campaign to deal with government corruption. He arrested some of the country's most powerful figures, including former security chief Zhuyang Kang and by the end of 2014 the CCP had disciplined more than 100,000 officials. Xi also set about stimulating a slowing economy. In 2014, China introduced the One Belt, One Road initiative to bolster trade routes and launched the ambitious Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank. Domestically, his party expanded the power of private banks and allowed international investors to trade shares directly on the Shanghai stock market. Xi has also changed some of the laws enacted by predecessors, formally ending China's one-child policy in 2015, his elimination of the re-education through labor system, which punished individuals charged with petty crimes, was viewed favorably. However, the Chinese leader has drawn scrutiny for his methods. Critics have noted that his crackdown on government corruption mainly targeted political opponents, and the CCP has come under fire by human rights groups for jailing journalists, lawyers and other private citizens. Under Xi's reach, censors have sought to eliminate Western influence in school curriculums and limited the public's internet access. Xi has also overseen economic regulations that have reverberated beyond his country's borders. The government stepped in to prop up a sagging housing market in 2014, and suddenly devalued the yuan in the summer of 2015. Despite promising during a trip to the United States in September that China would never manipulate currency to increase exports, Xi has been accused of that very approach. Global Standing As part of his goal to establish China as a 21st century global superpower, Xi has pushed for military reform to upgrade naval and air forces. Already chairman of the Central Military Commission, in 2016 he added the title of Commander-in-Chief of its Joint Battle Command Center. In recent years, Xi has asserted China's naval capacities through the construction of artificial islands within disputed territories of the South China Sea. Despite his claims to the contrary, satellite photographs indicated that the islands were being used to house military developments. In July 2016, an international tribunal in The Hague ruled that China had illegally claimed those territories, although China refused to accept the authority of that ruling. While often at odds with the U.S. over trade issues, Xi has publicly acknowledged the need for China to cooperate with its Western counterpart on the issue of climate change. In September 2016, Xi and U.S. President Barack Obama announced they were formally adopting the International Climate Change Agreement reached in Paris the previous December to reduce emissions from the world's two largest economies. 